Hey, how's it going YouTube? Welcome back to another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Valorant Season 2025 Act 2, which is dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out, so make sure to stick around till the end of this video. And with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that, open up settings on your PC. Head down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Since game bar is an overlay application, it runs a lot of processes on top of your game, which can be resource consuming and causing FPS issues. Turning this off will solve that. Head over to gaming, then head over to game mode and turn this thing on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you to improve your FPS and get better performance. Next step is right under that, that is graphic settings. Click on that, head over to change default graphic settings and enable hardware accepted GPU scheduling, as well as optimizations for windowed games. Both of these options will help you to utilize your graphic card to render the game as well as reduce the render latency. Go back to graphics and then you have to click on the browse button over here. Head over to the download location of your Valorant. Head over to the shooter game binaries win64 and select the win64 shipping. Click on the add button. If that is already added, head down and find that. Click on options. Select high performance to ensure that it is utilizing your graphic card. Then click on save and once it is done, close your settings. Next step is the compatibility settings and for that head over to the download location of your game. Once you're here, scroll all the way down and find the Win64 shipping. Right click on that, head over to its properties and then click on compatibility. Over here, click on disable full screen optimizations, then select change high DPI settings and then select override high DPI scaling behavior. Click on OK, click on OK and simply close this. This will help you to fix your input latency. Before we move ahead, I want to introduce you guys to LD Shop. The platform offers you in-game currencies to materials at discount. LD Shop is an official distributor with a 4.9 rating and over 500 reviews on Trustpilot. They have wide varieties of games from PC to mobile. For Valorant, LD Shop has a lot of products such as VPs where you guys can get discounted rate for global CD keys. I will go with 475 VP just to show you guys. Simply select the product and then enter your mail ID. Then click on the top up button. Once your payment is completed, you guys can head back and now you guys can see your order number. Simply click on transaction completed and that should be it. Simply click on check card code and now you guys can get the card number. You guys can simply copy it and now you have to open up Valorant. Once you are in the game, head over to the shop and right over here, click on prepaid cards and code. Simply paste your code over here and click on submit. Once that is done, 475 VP would be added into your account. And now you have to click on X. And now you guys can see that all of my Avalo points has been added. They also have a 24 hour support system that can assist you better. They have huge offers going on every now and then. So you guys can go check out LD shop from the link in the description below. Next step is uh, disabling unwanted background applications on your PC. And for that, what you have to do is simply search for local group policy editor and then click on edit local group policy. This tab will only be available for Windows Pro users. Click on computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background this is in charge of allowing your applications to run in the background but these applications are consuming a lot of resources in the background since they all have their individual packages that are running to disable that you have to right click on it head over to edit and then click on enable to ensure that this policy is turned on then for the policy properties you have options over here which you have to select force deny click on apply click on ok this will reduce the number of services running in the background if you have a foreground application open up. Once that is done, simply click on close. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and once you are here, scroll down and find your local disk C. Click on create and name it Valorant just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done, simply click on close and close system properties. The next step is downloading the Valorant S25 A2 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. In this FPS pack, I have left six simple folders. Let us start with the first one that is our CPU priority, in which I have left AMD CPU priority as well as Intel CPU priority. Both of these priorities are helping you to set up the correct D word values according to your processor. I have an AMD CPU, so I need to double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can double click and run the Intel CPU priority. Head back to the second folder, which is the most important one in this list, that is Valorant priority. This one will help you to allocate the amount of resources that your game is consuming. And you have three options over here. And to select an option, I would recommend you you guys to leave your pc specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose from these ones once that is done head back third folder is 
RAM optimization and it does the same thing but for your memory. I have 32 GB RAM over here so I need to double click and apply this registry. It could be different for you so I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. Once again, if that doesn't work out well or you are not getting the expected performance, head over to reset to default and double click to run this. It will help you to restore it back again. Fourth folder is the power plan settings in which I have left ultimate performance power plan. To run it, you have to right click and run it as administrator, then head over to power plans. If you have done it correctly, then you'll see show additional plans over here, simply click on that and then you have to select ultimate performance plan which would be right in this one. If you selected that, this will disable all kind of power saving features on your USB and hardware which will help you to improve the performance. Be sure that if you are on a laptop, this might be causing heating issues and quicker battery drain. So you guys can go with high performance or balanced. Fifth folder is the input latency fix in which I have left a process mitigation and latency tweaks. What you guys have to do is simply right click on both of them as administrator and it will help you to run a few commands that you guys can see in the notepad. It is only going to run a few PowerShell commands which will help you to automatically fix these issues. Once that is done, you have to head over to the sixth folder, which is programs in which I have left three simple programs. Let us start with the first one that is clean temporary files. You're going to have to right click and run it as administrator. This will open up a small pop up where you have to press any key on your keyboard and it will start deleting all temporary files that might be created in the background. It is a healthy process that you guys have to do every now and then and will help you to keep your windows running perfectly smooth. Once that is done, press any key to close it. Next step is the MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click on it as administrator. This software is responsible to change the interrupt priority of your graphic card and this is not an overclock but it will help you to improve the performance of your GPU. Simply select your GPU and then click on the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority you want to have to set this to high to ensure that it can handle more interrupts and once that is done click on apply and close it. Next one is unpack CPU and it is a super simple application simply run it as administrator again and once you are over here what you guys have to do is simply slide this code parking index all the way up to 100% and then click on apply. This will ensure that all of your cores are enabled and none of them are in parking mode. Windows by default put these cores into parking state in which they are not performing and this might be causing performance issues in your games so sliding it to 100% will always ensure that they are running. Once that is done click on close and close the FES pack. Next step is deanimating windows and for that you have to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Simply open it up and then select adjust for best performance and then select show taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. These four options should be enabled because they are in charge of keeping the windows look intact and other options should be disabled to ensure that you are getting the best performance. This might not be helping you to improve the FPS but it will help you to smoothen the performance of your windows. The next step is right under the advanced tab that is virtual memory. And to change it, you have to click on the change button over here, select your local disk C and for the initial size, set this thing to 1361. For the maximum size, I want you guys to open up your calculator. Now you have to find out the maximum size of your RAM. For that, you can search for system information on your PC and look for the installed physical memory that is 32 GB. So what you guys have to do is simply type in 32 and divide this value by 2 and it will help you to get half of your memory. Simply multiply this with by 1024 because you want to put the maximum size in megabytes and you have to paste this new value over here. What you guys have to do is simply click on the set button and then click on OK. This will really help you a lot if your memory is completely utilized and your game still demands more. It will utilize your ROM as your RAM. Once that is done, click on apply and then click on OK. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications on your PC. And for that, press Ctrl, Shift and Escape all together to open up your task manager. The next processes are really simple. Head over to the startup apps over here and then you'll find a lot of applications that are installed on your PC. What you guys have to do is simply start disabling the ones that you do not use right after the boot of your PC. They will help you a lot because after you boot your PC, these applications start automatically and the number of processes running in the background will slower the boot time of your PC as well as consume more resources in the background even if the application is not in use. To fix that, you want to disable all of the applications which you feel that you do not use and only keep the ones that you use right after the boot of your PC. To disable them, simply select the application, right click on that and then click on the second button that is disable. Know what you are doing because some applications are really impactful such as the VG tray which is really important to run Valorant. This will not only help you to fix your performance but it will also help you to fasten up your BIOS booting time. Once that is done, simply close it and the next step is fixing all kind of network issues, latency and ping issues using no ping. You guys can find a link to this in the description below. Simply click on the free trial and get no ping for yourself. Once you open the application, you can look for more than 1000 games over here. 
simply look up for Valorant and then click on the game. Click on choose manual server and then select the nearest region to you. For me, it will be Mumbai and as you guys can see that I am getting about 8 milliseconds of ping. This will be the closest server that would be chosen by the AI with the lowest ping. And this will help you to connect your PC straight to the game servers without any hindrance, allowing you to improve your network performance. I personally use no ping for myself and I have seen drastic changes. And you guys can check it out for free from the link in the description below. And you guys can drop into the game with the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. In the general section, you will find something called raw input buffer. You're gonna have to turn this thing on. Then scroll all the way down until you find network buffering. You're gonna have to keep this to medium. Then head over to the video section. And then over here, you guys have to disable all kind of these limit FPS options. And then for the Nvidia reflex low latency, if that is available for you, go with on plus boost. Head over to graphics and then multi-threaded rendering should be turned on. This option will be available for all processors with more than four cores. Material, texture, detail and UI quality should be set to low. Vignette and VSync should be turned off. Anti-aliasing can be set to MSAA 2x. And isotropic filtering, I have gone with 2x over here. Improve clarity is turned on but it can consume your FPS so you can turn this thing off as well. Everything over here should be turned off. So that is it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash hit subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I trust you all and we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.